Hello, I'm Ron Duker with Pyramid Air. Today we're going to talk about the 10-point Vengeant 440 and what comes in the package, as well as stick around to see the cock decock feature. So first thing first, what comes in the box? Overall, very limited assembly required, but there is some that needs to be done. The first thing is the bow itself. Secondly, you're going to end up with your foot stirrup. Underneath, you'll have a bracket for your quiver, and you will also be receiving your quiver with six premium arrows, which I'll tell you all about in a couple seconds. From an optics standpoint, you get the Evo X Marksman 2x8x36 uh, Marksman Scope. This is a illuminated reticle, as well as uh, 10 Point has these great little bubble levels, which gets you into true archery and true accuracy in my mind, as well as you get a cocking handle that nests inside of the stock, and you get your own case. When you purchase a 10 point, a couple of things, it's a top end brand, there's a couple of things that go along with that. One, you're going to get a packet. Including in that is a welcome to the family. These are manufactured in the United States, these are USA made. There's a reason for that, there's a reason for the price point. There are benefits with this as well. It has a lifetime warranty. I've seen bows 20 years old that if you have something go with the limbs, 10 point honors that warranty, they find a way to get you back in the woods. So you also get inside of this, the welcome to the family packet is hand signed. So the actual person that inspected it and packaged it has got a hand signature on it. So you know personally exactly who touched your bow <laughs> and who packaged it. Also have the, the, the owner's manual. This package comes with pretty much everything you need, including its own custom made case. Very simple case to utilize. Open it up, you can put the crossbow in. Put your quiver with six arrows in, scope already on it, and zip it up. Also with the case, you have two pockets for accessories on the front. These are not large enough to fit your quiver and your arrows, however, they're large enough to fit several other accessories. On the back, it comes with two adjustable shoulder straps that you can position in a close position or with just a quick simple change, you can position in a wider position if you prefer. This bow is shooting a blistering 440 feet per second, which is 166 foot pounds of energy. All that compacted in an 11 inch axle to axle uncocked, and this goes all the way down to 5.8 inches, which is somewhere in that range, which we'll show you in a little bit. Overall length from stirrup all the way to the back is around 37 inches. From top to bottom, it's approximately 11 inches. For a forward draw crossbow, this makes quite a compact package. Starting from the front of the crossbow, you have a very small foot stirrup. You'll see that is perfectly fine because with the built-in cocking, decocking mechanism, you don't have much of a trouble cocking this crossbow at all. It's got a 14 inch power stroke, but However long it is, you've got a mechanical aid here on the back of the crossbow that's going to take care of that for you no matter how far you have to pull it. How do they get the speed and consistency out of this crossbow? The vector quad cam system is something we need to talk a little bit about. This quad cam system, the reason why it's so good is what it does is it actually levels out your cams on every single shot. Again, repeat, repeatability, repeatability, repeatability. Consistency gets you that accurate shot. We'll get to the optic. The optic goes out to 100 yards. This crossbow is actually capable of doing that. Wouldn't recommend it out to beyond 40 yards with any hunting situation. However, it has the capability and the optic to go to 100. So one of the pieces that I want to identify here is that quad cam system has the string actually above the rail. This is something unique that you will see that this means better, better string life. It also means consistency because you don't have friction constantly rubbing against your rail. The trigger box trigger is, again, premium. You're going to hear premium a lot with this crossbow. This is a dual stage trigger, and it's only 3.5 pounds pull. This is one of the better triggers that you're going to find anywhere on a crossbow. Moving to the scope, like I mentioned before, it's got an Evo X uh, Marksman 2-8 to eight, uh, 36 millimeter optic. It is an illuminated reticle, red or green. You can choose by selecting up or down as well as the intensity. It's got 
uh, windage and elevation adjustments that are clicks that you can just make on the fly if needed. As well as on the back, it's got a dial both from magnification as well as for feet per second on your crossbow. So you can always know that if you want to line up that speed with the marks on the inside of the crossbow, you can know exactly how fast your crossbow is going. Or if you're more of a traditionalist, you can go in and do your specific magnification. The bubble level is separate, but comes in the package. And what that does is that enables you to have a quick reference visually when you go to make a shot to make sure that you're not canting your bow one way or another and have an off shot. Onto the trigger box, we have inside of it an arrow retention uh, brush, actually. And the reason for that is that you get whisper quiet arrows being shot and you don't have any vibration if you were to have any metal there. You don't have any vibration coming back onto the shooter when they fire. There is a lever that's it's on both sides that you flip this forward and it actually releases the trigger box assembly which then goes all the way down and clicks onto your string. And this will be part of how we cock and decock the crossbow. Onto the cocking mechanism, nested inside in a permanent fixture inside of your crossbow is an AccuDraw cock decock functionality. It's very well labeled on here as to which way to go. Decock is going to be counterclockwise and clockwise is going to cock your crossbow. Nested in the handle is a handle in order to do all of the work. Couple of features with the handle itself. It does extend out so that if you need more leverage, you can get that by just simply extending the handle or closing the handle down. At the very end, important to note, they were very wise, and again, this is a US-based company, quarter 20. So if you happen to be out in the field and you happen to have a quarter 20, that will go in here. In order to cock this crossbow, move in the cock direction, you can see how easy this is. I only have two fingers on this and I'm cocking this entire crossbow at 440 feet per second. Also, it does not spin back on you. So for safety purposes, it has the cock decock. I can go backwards if I need to reset something. I can continue to go forward as I go. Once you cock the crossbow, you'll hear that audible click. Back off one, two turns. That ensures that you have the exact right trigger box positioning and you get consistency throughout. One of the things to note is how super small your profile is with this crossbow. You actually can see my shoulder to shoulder better than you can see the axle to axle. And heaven forbid you have a hunt and you're not successful, don't get to take a shot that time. You don't need to carry around a bag with this. You can just, or shoot an arrow into the ground, saves ton of money on bolts. All you have to do, put those two, two turns back in and you'll feel the crossbow when it's ready to decock because you'll see this lever right here, which I'm activating with my thumb on the left side. You'll see that loosen. As soon as that loosens, you know you can hold that forward just a little bit to clear the trigger box assembly, and you just back it off. It's simple. It says decock this way, keep following. Again, if you happen to stop because you have something else going on, this crossbow is not going to get away from you when you're decocking it as well. And there you have it. That simple. One quick thing about the 10-point AccuSlides, anytime you see this trigger box as assembly, once you're decocked, most people are just going to leave it like that. And it's designed to be stored and keep it locked onto your string. If you do, for some reason, want to take that off, let me go through that real quick. If you put your trigger into the fire position, you can turn the bow upside down. And you'll see on the handle is this metal rod that slides out. You take the rod, put it into, find the little hole on the bottom here, which I'm doing blindly. There we go. Flip it in and it will release the trigger mechanism. You hear that click. Once you hear the click, there's a little piece right here that you move down with your thumb that keeps your anti-dry fire and you can just slide it right off. Quiver assembly is a quick detach. You can mount it in several different positions and you can cant it a little bit to the right or left depending on where you feel comfortable. Six arrow quiver inside of the arrow Arrows are very important. You get six arrows with this. And these arrows are 0.001 straightness, which is pretty much as good as you can get. 
as well as important to note that these are match grade. What that means is all six of these arrows have been personally hand selected for you to be no more than plus or minus one grain of each other in total weight. So you have very consistent accuracy no matter which arrow you happen to pull out that day and shoot. And most importantly, one thing I forgot, it comes with a hat. As far as value goes, I can't see how much you can do any better than this with all premium components made in the USA, comes with its own case, match grade arrows plus or minus one grain, illuminated optic. There's a lot of things and features on this crossbow to love. I'm Ron Duker with Pyramid Air. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for checking out the 10-point Vengeant 440 with me. I'll see you next time.